I'm sorry for pausing. I'm sorry for reminding, but I have to do this. With your super hosting and my super knowledge. <laughs> oh my god, that face. Priceless. <laughs> what is up, everybody? AJ here back with another video. So, Hong Kai Star Wars has finally dropped their latest version update, which is 2.0. In other words, Panacone has finally arrived. And also, Hongkai Star Rail has also dropped a new video which is Keeping Up With Star Rail Black Swan Destiny For Where Do You Live? So I'll be checking this one out. This is most likely a tutorial video on how to pilot Black Swan and whatnot. So this should be a very interesting one. The original video will be down at the link description below. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. She's a memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection, a mysterious oh, and mama. elegant soothsayer. With a warm smile, she patiently absorbs Ooh. the words of others, entering their memories. Oh to dear see lord, the she's sexy she as. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. In her the way she, of unique she looks into. Her motivations the way she looks, man, oh my gosh. To glean. Meet the star of today's Keeping Up with Star Rail, Black Swan. Oh my gosh, the, she's sexy In today's episode, we've invited a special guest who claims to be privy to gossip from across the universe. Oh, it's Sparkle. Miss Sampo? Hey everyone, I'm Sampo's good friend Sparkle. Hello, security! Hey, come on, I'm a huge Albert fan. It took Lord. me ages to get here. Don't kick me out already, please. Hello, Albert fan. Plus, I'm a right. huge Black Swan fan too. I know everything right. there is to know. With your super hosting and my super knowledge, this program's gonna rock. Albert's super hosting. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Albert, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for pausing this. But... Albert fan. Plus, I'm sorry for pausing. I'm pa sorry for reminding, but I have to, to do this. With your super hosting and my super knowledge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that face! Priceless! <laughs> oh my god, Albert! <laughs> that it, but, but here's the thing Sparkles is part of the mass fools. So there's a possibility she might be a con man as well, but. Anyhow, let's 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 just continue watching this, okay? Let's just continue watching this very interesting video. Oh, I'm 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 Super loving this already. I'm loving this already. <laughs> Hello? Hello? What do you need? Two cappuccinos. Thank you. Get lost. <laughs> I love Hong Kai Star Rail. I can. I can. Oh my gosh. I'm done. As a professional, a super host, oh, it's my oh. duty to give the fans what they want. So, uh, Miss Frankel, you've got yourself a deal. Black Swan is a wind type character following the path of Nihility. This mysterious and elegant soothsayer excels in harnessing the power Gosh, of Gosh, I really hope her design destinies. Whoa, amazing! When using her basic attack, mm -hmm. Black Swan deals wind damage to the target enemy based on her attack, with a chance to inflict the attack target with one stack of Arcana. Moreover, when Black Swan hits enemies suffering from wind, shear, bleed, burn, or shock, there's a separate chance of further inflicting one additional stack of Arcana on the target. At the start of each turn, each enemy target has a chance to be afflicted by a stack of Arcana for every instance of damage over time sustained. After mm -hmm. unlocking a specific trace, the target receives DOT during an attack from an ally. Okay. There's a chance for the target to be inflicted with one stack of Arcana with a limit oh, to the number of for attack. Mr. Albert, can you tell me what this Arcana is used for? Brilliant question, Miss Sparkle. Arcana definitely has its uses. When afflicted by Arcana, Enemy targets Arcana counts as wind shield effect. Oh, okay. At the start of each turn, each stack of Arcana slightly increases the damage multiplier, which is then reset to one. 
Oh, no, no, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me, let me, let me move this up. Not this. This is the damn freaking thing. Eesh. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. If the Arcana has like one stack, it deals less damage. If the Arcana has a total of six stacks, it will deal more damage. Okay. Stack. Also, at the beginning of an enemy's turn, when Arcana causes damage, Black Swan will trigger additional effects that are stackable based upon the number of Arcana stacks. For example, it inflicts wind damage over time to adjacent enemies equal to a certain percentage of Black Swan's attack and has a chance of inflicting one stack of Arcana. Okay. Plus, the damage over time inflicted this time ignores a certain percentage of enemy defense. Oh! Fantastic. It depends on how many Arcana does, uh, is inflicted onto the enemy. Okay. Uh? Uh, being able to explain complex topics is what you excel at, Albert. Again, the pizza <laughs> I can really see that Sparkle is good with pleasing other people. Okay, I can see where the, where, where how how Sparkle's person personality is. All right, moving on, moving on, and I hope you guys have a good view of black swans you know what i'm talking about uh, that's right when using her skill black swan deals wind damage based on her attack to the target enemy and adjacent targets there's also a chance to inflict each enemy with one stack of arcana and a chance of reducing their defense for a set number of turns Oh, that's element specific traits when black swan skill it's an enemy suffering from bleed burn or shock debuffs mm -hmm. each one has a respective chance of inflicting an extra stack of arcana on them oh. oh look at her the mastermind of odds treating combat like a simple card trick she's really awesome uh during exploration when black swan uses her technique and enters combat there's okay. a chance that each single target will succumb to one stack of arcana okay Target's suffering from arcana will be repeatedly judged to determine whether or not they'll be inflicted again this is repeated until it fails the chance of reinflicting okay. arcana reduces with each application okay <laughs> needs to do a little fortune telling before the fight does she should we crown her the queen of foresight or just a buzzkill afraid of a little surprise Miss Sparkle, are you really a fan of Black Swan? Fanatic, fan, same difference. However, when it comes to you, Albert, I'm a real admirer. I've watched every episode you've ever made. Again, the okay. <laughs> There's a few episodes better left forgotten. But for the memo keeper, huh. is the memories that cause pain, which are the most formidable weapons. Okay, her ult? Using her ultimate. Black Swan inflicts epiphany upon all enemies for a set number of turns. And deals Yo, with all the holy attack. crap. While inflicted with epiphany, enemies take increased damage during their turns. Moreover, enemies suffering from Arcana are deemed to be in a state of wind shear, bleed, burn, and shock as well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. As the target is considered to be concurrently inflicted with wind shear, bleed, burn, and shock, Black Swan's attack this time will inflict more Arcana stacks. Ooh, hell. While Epiphany is in effect, Arcana stacks will not be reset after inflicting damage at the beginning of each turn. Whoa, but there is a maximum okay. limit to how often this effect can be triggered. Okay. Note to self. Induce memory loss in self before next meeting with Black Swan. Oh, seems like Miss Black Swan is running the truck. Right. Or perhaps she knew it was coming all along. Oh, fight! Fight! We see Black Swan use her skill, effectively using her traces to ensnare the enemy with several stacks of Arcana, mm -hmm. simultaneously weakening their defense. All right. Her teammate launches an attack, inflicting a DOT debuff on the enemy. Outnumbering them? You call that skill? Don't lose, Dream Jolt Troop! Oh, but Black Swan appears unfazed by Miss Sparkle's comments and uses her ultimate right before the enemy's action, putting them into a state of epiphany. Ooh, looks like the chief is trying to set an example for his underlings by launching a counterattack. Unaware that Black Swan's triggered Arcana on him, delivering okay. an offense ignoring smack down to them all. <laughs> and thanks to Epiphany, Arcana stacks were not reset, allowing allies to capitalize with a follow up attack. With enemies suffering damage over time, the stacks of Arcana keep rising higher and higher as a result of Black. Whoa, you can stay up to 12 Arcanas? Holy shit. So, what I want to know is that 
is there a limit to how many arcana you can stack on an enemy i guess the only way to find out is to do a test run on black swan or better yet might as well just pull for her and then you can do a test run using the black swan that you have swan's basic attacks finally the burn 15 shock and effects imposed on the Yo. enemy are triggered in succession vanquishing yet again another enemy all's well that ends well and that's a wrap boring yet again it's the same old story of good versus evil unfollowed ah uh? just wondering is there any sort of beef between you and miss black swan not really, it's just Miss Black Swan is always so composed. I can't help but want to see her trip over. No. Oh. Alfred, we've got an intruder in our midst. Looks like she's made her way towards the broadcasting room. You seen anything? An intruder, you say? Oh, why? Not at all. Huh? What happened to your voice? <laughs> Not familiar with the avian voice molting phases, huh? <laughs> Alright, I'm hanging up. That's it. It's over. It's wrap. Oh, please, I'm too young for it to be over. As expected of a Mars fool, Sparkle really is a con man. Well, on a side note, Black Swan's um, gameplay looks very interesting to say the least. And I'm genuinely curious, is it possible to stack as many Arcanas on an enemy as possible with no limits? As which causes me to try her out even more and also i and also i must say good grief black swan looks sexy as hell all the more reason for me to look for her and okay on a side note sparkle she looks cute but she, at the same time she's cunning at the same time that's the vibe that I'm getting from from Sparkle because don't forget she is part of the mass fool so don't let her cute looks fool ya anyway I think that's pretty much my reaction to keeping up with Star Wheel Black Swan Destiny for where do you lead thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a good one if you guys enjoyed my reaction i do appreciate a thumbs up on this video and feel free to comment down below on what are your thoughts on black swan will you guys be pulling for her what are your thoughts on her design or are you guys saving up for future characters such as the likes of sparkle akron and eventually anyway my name is aj and i will see you guys in the next video if not add panacomi peace out